friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawns Sealed with a Kiss. It features these adorable little seals. I've stamped them out on some Copic Friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to do some quick coloring with some Copic markers. I wanted them to look like baby arctic seals, which are white with kind of a darker muzzle. So I'm using C0 and C1. I used the C1 to lay in a little bit of shadow and then the C0 to blend that shadow into the white areas. And I just did them both really quick since there's very little coloring in today's video. I'm going to take my colorless blender and just run that over the edge of the C0 to get that to fade into the white areas so that they definitely look white and not light gray. And then I'm going to take C3 and C5 to add a little bit of shading to their muzzles. I use the C5 first, and then I'm going to blend that out in kind of a circular shape with the C3. I've mentioned this in a previous video a few years ago, but these seals remind me of one of my favorite books as a child. It was called Trapper, and it was by Serendipity. They had all kinds of really great books about horses and unicorns and bunnies and seals and all kinds of stuff. And being an animal lover, I just adored those books. Um, but now I'm adding in a few little flecks and freckles with the C3 and then softening those with the C1 just to give them a little extra personality. I trimmed them out with the matching dies and then I decided that I wanted to give them some rosy cheeks. So I'm doing that with the RV10. And then I'll set these aside to work on my background. I've die cut a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock using the Lawn Fawn Stitched Circle Stackables and I'm going to blend on some Distress Ink. I'm using Spun Sugar, Squeeze Lemonade, and Stormy Sky. So I'm starting with the Spun Sugar and I'm just doing a stripe a little bit low of center on the seam. And then I'm going to come in with the Squeeze Lemonade and I'm going to add that right above. I don't want the colors to mix too much in this case. I kind of wanted distinct layers, but they will overlap just a little bit. I just didn't want to encourage um, the yellow and pink to make orange or the pink, or sorry, the yellow and blue to make green. So I'm kind of sticking in that striped area. Now the stormy sky, I wanted it to be a little bit lighter, closer to the yellow and darker towards the outside edge. So you can see that I'm um, adding quite a bit more on the outside edge and then slowly bringing that down to meet the yellow. And then I'll go back over that squeeze lemonade one more time just to intensify that shade. I'm trying to create a sunrise scene. I've also trimmed out a little snow drift using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Hillside Borders and I'm going to stamp a sentiment from Merry Messages and it's actually a Happy New Year sentiment since this is going to go live right before New Year and I stamp that down with Manatee Ink and then while I have my uh, Misty out I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card I'm using the Peace and Joy from the Snowy Backdrops and then the Seal again from Sealed with a Kiss. To assemble my focal panel, I'm going to take that snow drift and adhere that down to the bottom of my sunrise scene with the Lawn Fawn glue tube. I do like this glue. I've been trying it out for quite some time now and I like that you can get a small amount. It has a narrow nozzle so it fits into small little areas and it also seems to hold really well. So I'm adding my little seals so that they're close by each other, enjoying that sunrise on the new dawn of the new day of the new year. And then I'll add my pattern papers. I'm using a gotta have gingham gray and white check first on the card, and that's going to cover the entire card. And I trim that out using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle Stackable, so it has that nice stitching line. And then my second piece is from the Lawn Fawn Really Rainbow Christmas, but it matches very nicely. It's got the same shade of gray. It's just got some snowflakes on there or stars. 
and I'm adding that over top and the bottom was trimmed out with the Lawn Fawn stitch party banners. I've added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel so I'll peel off those release papers and then I'm going to line that up right in the center of that flag. And Once I have that perfectly in place I'll press that down firmly. To finish off the card I'm going to take a white gel pen. This is a Sakura white jelly roll pen but any white gel pen will do. And I'm going to add some stars to the background. So I'm just doing some different size dots. They're obviously going to show up a lot better on the darker shade up at the top, but you do see them on the other shades as well, especially in person. And I'm also doing two stars that are kind of a cross pattern, which will make them look like they're twinkling and uh, just signifying hope for the new year. So. That is going to complete my card for today. That's my last card of 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's another peek at the inside as well. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There will be loads of videos coming in the new year. And if you wanna be sure that you never miss a video, just go ahead and ring that notification bell. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day and I wish you a very happy, healthy, joyous, blessed, and filled with crafty mojo new year. Bye-bye.